Belfast has always been a colourful place and that's what you can see here from the city hall and as well we have a lot of street art and basically it's always been quite a vibrant place but especially so coming up to the summer towards Belfast Pride. So you can see here too that even the city hall is illuminated in bright colours and that's for a few reasons. One, to celebrate the LGBTQ plus community but also in recognition of the work that has been done and the work that's still to be done as well. And then coming up to Pride as well, businesses decorate for Pride, so they put signs in the window, they have flags out, bumping. It's really, really great to see. And for me, I actually think it's quite heartwarming too, coming up to Pride, that businesses get involved in celebrating. On Pride though, I started to get really quite nervous because it started to pour rain. Luckily I brought a poncho, but what we did was we went to bars to wait until the rain had passed, until the parade. For me, I really love the parade. It was amazing this year, particularly because of how many groups were involved. There were charities, companies, schools, union, pubs and clubs, including our own Queen Student Union who had bright blue shirts with our rainbow logo in the front. I also love seeing the tributes to um, activists in the community, such as the tribute to Mark Ashton, who, if you watch the movie Pride, he was involved in activism during the HIV crisis in the 80s, and he was actually born in Portrush, um, just about an hour from Queens. The parade also featured some really talented drag artists, including Blue Hydrangea, who won RuPaul's Drag Race, and also Ivy Profen, who's actually a Queen student too. So the parade for me was a really great chance just to have a bit of fun in the sun and actually just then to see all the groups. It was so colourful and really, really heartwarming. Then we went to Union Street, so you can see us here in our group. Um, and that was just a really great chance to have a drink, to have a dance then as well. As you can see, it was absolutely packed. There was a DJ on the street and it made for a really fun street party atmosphere. To finish the day then, we went to Taboo at the Telegraph building. That's a once a year event and it was such a great way to finish Pride 2023.